Hello everybody, all the Titan X owners. Today I will show you how to get extra 10 to 12% performance increase without overclocking your graphics card. So basically if you see in the top left corner, that's the statistics for this particular card uh, running in Crisis 3 at the moment. And I will show you how and I will explain to you why this happens, why this performance can be increased. So basically this applies to anyone that owns this kind of card with the stock cooler and you can download uh, this utility or your original utility for MSI, it's MSI Afterburner, but you can use this MSI Afterburner for any card manufacturer, will it be Gigabyte, EVGA or anything else, you can use MSI Afterburner as well. It is not specifically built uh, for MSI. So what you do is you download it. I will put the link in the description below for you to download it from the official website. From the official website of MSI. And basically what this card lacks is cooling. So there are two options. You can either upgrade the stock cooler to something a bit more serious or you can uh, sacrifice uh, uh, the fan speed towards you know having a higher FPS and uh, more performance in games but that will bring you more noise as well so bear that in mind so basically what you do is you go into settings and you go into fan and tick use user uh, Enable user-defined software automatic fan control. So basically, this you will tweak this line to um, for the fan to work the way you want it to work. And basically, I found that anywhere after 70 degrees, uh, the performance starts dropping on this card. So. You can just copy the one I have right here, or you can just tweak uh, the way you like it, but I'll show you this one right here. So I've set it up to coast not uh, more than 70 degrees. And once this turns green, as you can see, it starts... You can probably even hear the fan start spinning in the, back in the background. So this is enabled, and you leave this program working as well, whilst you're gaming. And if we go back, we go back into the game you can see the core is boosting now to it was around uh, 1050 now it's 1202 and sometimes it even boosts further to 1215 1225 and higher so we've I've seen the minimum FPS here I've seen in this particular scene in this game I didn't move an inch I didn't move a millimeter and I've seen it go as low as 61 FPS and as you can see now we've got around 70 so that's there there, there you go that's your 12 percent increase without touching anything uh, other than the fan control so that's a massive performance boost just by using GPU boost 2.0 technology built into your graphics card the way it's meant to be working and why is this happening as i said previously once your graphics card starts running above 70 degrees celsius uh, it starts dropping its performance in order to maintain that safe temperature uh, obviously the manufacturers want to have quieter cards so they tweak their default fan profile to cater that, to have low noise uh, in expense of less performance. But if you are willing to sacrifice that quiet time, then you can get that extra 10 to 12%, as I said. If you enjoyed this video and you are willing to try it out, then don't uh, hesitate to hit that like button. Uh, make sure to check out our other videos, we've got some guides, we've got some benchmarks, different uh, various interesting stuff going on around our channel. So make sure to check that out. And also subscribe to stay tuned for more videos like this and uh, other cool stuff. So I'll see you in the next one. RG out.